finds you happy and doing well, as you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on eye creams. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I thought I would drop in here really fast and talk about four eye creams that I particularly love. The last video that I did on eye creams was about a year ago. I'll link it up above just in case you're interested in checking it out. I've had the opportunity to use these a good amount of time so I can tell you what I think about them and if they would actually be good for you and whatever concerns that you have. So the eye creams that I'm gonna talk about are, it's four, and these eye creams just address various problems. If you have problems with puffiness, if you have problems with dark spots, fine lines, wrinkles, uh, dryness under your eyes, um, any type of eye creams that would play well with makeup. Let's say you wear a lot of makeup and you're looking for a cream that would work well with that. So that's going to be the main areas of the four eye creams that I'm going to talk about. So I'm just going to go ahead and start and in no particular order, I'm going to start off with the first one and this is by, let me put my glasses on. This is the Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. It's formulated to help revitalize and energize the eye area. What I particularly like about it is that this eye cream does come sealed. So you get, um, and this is just, it looks, it reminds me of a little toothpaste packaging. Very small and you don't need a lot, but this right here has a little corner to it and you stick it in there and it punctures the little foil seal and you're good to go. It does have a yellow color and it's very cooling to the touch. I really love this one. It does play well under the makeup. And remember, when you're starting any type of skincare regimen, make sure to do a patch test. So, and that means just testing it like maybe on the back or the side of your neck and you know, particularly do it at night and then when you wake up, see if you have any type of reaction. So I should have said that at the beginning of the video, but the caffeine in it is gonna do a really good job of helping to reduce puffiness in your under eye, and it does a really good job of hydrating. So this one comes in at, I think, $10. I'm not sure, I will put it somewhere up on the screen, but it's really good and I really have been enjoying it. So the next one that I have is by Biosance, and this is their Squalene Marine Algae Eye Cream. So this one does a really good job of helping you with elasticity or firmness. So if you have kind of sagging or things like that under your eyes, this one's really good. I use this one at night because it is really thick and rich and you really can't see a difference in the firmness when you wake up. The only drawback is I wish that it would last. <laughs> so this is one that you, if you get it, you only need a little and use it very consistently. Um, it also helps with fine lines and wrinkles and you know, all of us to some extent have fine lines. No matter what you, no matter what your age, you are going to have some of that. But if you have an excessive amount, I feel it's though it will not completely take it away, but you definitely can see a difference. This one does come in at a whopping $54. So this one would be a bit of a splurge, but I personally like it and I have been enjoying it. So this is another affordable one. I think this one comes in at $20. And when I say affordable, I'm talking about in relation to the cost of eye creams that are out there. This one was made in the US. So if that's something that's important to you, this one also came sealed. And let me tell you all, that is so important important to me because I have gone so many times in Ulta or Sephora or the drugstore and opened a product and you can really tell that the product has been that someone stuck their hands in it and that's just gross okay so <laughs> kudos to this company it does have caffeine in it as well so it's going to do a really good job of helping with puffiness and it also has glycolic and hyaluronic acid in it Glycolic is going to do a good job of sloughing away any dead skin cells that you have under your eyes. The hyaluronic acid is going to do a good job of keeping your under eyes hydrated. And another thing that I like about this one is that if you choose uh, not to wear makeup or vice versa, it does have a cooling, mattifying look. So um, most times after you apply a eye cream, you do kind of get that very, um, you can tell that you have a cream under your eyes. It looks very moisturized and hydrated. This one has a mattifying look. However, it does not leave the under eye dry. And I don't know what kind of sorcery is going on with that, but I really can appreciate it. This formula is on uh, the really thick and rich side. So you only need a little, especially if you're going to wear it during the day. And it does a really good job of playing well with other makeup, um, like concealers and powders that you may apply under your eye. And this just has a white, creamy consistency. Um, 
and it's very smoothing to touch and I have been enjoying this and I think you would like it too. And the last one that I want to talk about is by Dr. Before and this is their Awakening Eye Cream. It comes in a little tube like this and an applicator like this and it is a kind of a green, light, light uh, green appearance. And what I like about this one is that it really plays well if you are going to wear makeup. It does help with dark circles. Now again, if you have dark circles, it's not going to completely fade them away. This is another product where you have to use, you know, uh, consistently uh, in order to see results. And really with any of these, I would recommend at least using them for a month, sometimes more. You really have to use products consistently paired with other good ingredients to help with any issues that you may have. I also love the fact that it's got pre and probiotics in it, which is super good. And if you see that in a, you know, in other skincare products, like a cleanser or a serum or a moisturizer, I would say to definitely uh, jump on products like that. But overall, this one is a good product. And I forgot to mention that it does a good job of hydrating. And remember with this one, you only need a little, really with all of them, but if you're gonna pair an eye cream with any makeup or things like that, just make sure you do a really, really thin, thin layer of it. So that's it, short and sweet. Those are the four eye creams that I like that I wanted to talk to you all about. Let me know if you're using a eye cream, which one is it? Is it working for you or is it not? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.